We're going to turn now to um, Seth Risenme. And so Seth, you saw him on the video just a few moments ago. Um, one of our favorite visionaries in doTERRA, one of our favorite trainers in doTERRA, he has a dream of a thousand diamonds and he is creating it. And Seth, we're so excited for you to share with us tonight. Thank you. I'm glad. I hope, I hope it's worthwhile. <laughs> I hope the people oh, I'm sure it will be. Yeah, yeah, we're hoping that too, man. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, let me, I guess, uh, so you asked me to just share um, a little bit about my story and cover on a couple of topics. So let me just uh, start with that, I guess, just a little bit about me. So prior to doTERRA, I, I had owned my own company for quite a while. Um, uh, it was a multi-million dollar company and we were very successful. Um, and uh, had, uh, you know, about 500 employees. And anyway, it was a large, large company. I did, I did that for, um, I started that business actually uh, when I was going to college. And um, when I was in school, I, when I married my wife, um, she was a senior graduating college and I was a freshman just starting. And so she was a little concerned. Her dad was concerned about who was about to marry her daughter. I didn't have a lot going for me. And, um, and so uh, she actually, she asked me a question. She, she said, so what happens if I get pregnant and I have a baby, then what? And, and, I, and, and the reason she was asking me that is because it was her desire to raise her children and be a stay-at-home mother. And, and so I just, I said, yeah, if I promise if, if, if this happens while I'm going to school that, um, that I can, that I'll do whatever I have to to make that a reality. And um, really quickly, uh, well, and <laughs> so about a year later, she's expecting and I'm like, okay, I got to prove uh, my worth here. And so at that time, I realized really early that I didn't have enough hours to trade for dollars. As a full-time student, I had to do something different. So I started uh, what eventually became a multi-million dollar business. Um, and in fact, one of those companies that I started is now a billion dollar company, a, a tech company now. And so, um, so it's, that's my background. That's how I got into it. And, um, and, and thankfully one of the greatest things ever happened in my life. And that was the, the recession of 2008. Um, because that company went from being really valuable to very unvaluable real quick. Um, I remember we had this beautiful office building. It was this, you know, enormous building. It was, we had plenty of tenants. It was a cash flowing enterprise. It was an asset to us. And within uh, six months, it became the biggest liability around my neck ever. All of those companies went out of business after the recession. All of those rent payers went away. And that building became a noose around my neck along with many other things. Um, and I ended up losing pretty much everything. Um, it, it was a financially devastating time for us. I had about three different companies that were closely tied to the banking se sector. And when the banks were collapsing and lending dried up, um, that basically killed me. And, uh, and, it, and it put me in a very humble position. I felt like everything I tried didn't work. Um, every, everything that worked for the last 15, 20 years didn't work at that time. I was like, I just felt totally frustrated, but it left me humble. And I was so humble that I would consider doing something like doTERRA. And, and so that, that is actually what got me to do this. Like I seriously looked at the business opportunity and gave it a chance because of, because I was humble enough to do it. And I think that that may be the case for a lot of you is that you may look at something like network marketing as um, a, uh, what, how would I, it's not, it's as like, <laughs> like a stepchild in the, in the business world, right? Like it's just not what you would, you would hope for. I'd actually like to change that uh, mentality in you if I could, because I actually think that this is probably a, a superior business model to normal businesses. 
And the reason I say that is because I've created many partnerships in my life. And so when you create a partnership, a business partnership, you normally have partners that come together that, that have value that they're bringing to the table and you, and you create a, a, this corporation and normally all of the ownership is a, agreed to out the gate and you all bring something to the table. And in every single partnership that I've been a part of, at some point there's been disgruntled partners where someone is pulling more weight than they feel they should, or other people aren't pulling enough weight, or people who are, who are brought into the partnership didn't bring the value that you intended. The thing that's amazing about doTERRA is that they allow for you to, that you're creating a partnership with them. Believe it or not, when you sign up for $35 or whatever enrollment kit you got, you actually are entering into a partnership agreement with doTERRA. And that partnership agreement is the most fair, equitable, and amazing partnership agreement I've ever seen. Because what happens is, is they say, we, doTERRA, will take care of sourcing the product, of manufacturing, of distribution, of, of research and development, of customer support, payroll and accounting, sourcing the product, and we're gonna bring capital. We're going to bring the money to the table to make this all work. We have the infrastructure, we'll invest where we need to invest, we'll grow where we need to grow. If you have connections around the world, we're gonna to try to open up into those countries and do everything we can to, to invest millions and millions of dollars in those countries to get it off the ground so that you can do your part of this partnership. So what's your part? Well, your part is to create a network, to create a network of educated people who use the products. This network, your job is to educate and serve and love them. Incredibly, that's your job. To, your, one of your job things, <laughs> descriptions is to actually love the network that you have. Um, you may not have capital to bring to the table. You may not have a lot of money to invest. So we're going to accept as your partnership the sweat equity that you're going to come in with. And so if you're willing to work hard, uh, um, bring value, serve and educate and love your network, then we will take the uh, uh, up to 50% of all of the revenue the company has and give that to you and your network. Now, um, as the owners of doTERRA, they're taking care of everything else. They're doing everything else. And in the partnership agreement with you, you have this incredible opportunity to come in and you will get paid for exactly how much value you bring. This is the greatest partnership agreement contract in the history of partnerships. I wish I would have figured this out when I had other companies where I created partnerships and I felt unequally yoked or taken advantage of. This is not that at all. You get exactly, you get paid exactly the amount you should get paid for the amount of value that you bring. And if you can't bring value, then you probably won't make much. But if you can bring value, you'll make a lot. And, and this is, now this is different from if you have an employee mindset versus a business mindset. People who have employee mindsets typically want payment for effort, regardless of the value they bring. They may show up to a job and put in a menial or, mo or a lot of effort or a little bit of the effort. That's completely up to them and their integrity. But either way, they're going to get paid for the effort they put in. This is not an effort-based income system. This is a value-based income. If you bring value, doTERRA will never forget what you've brought to them. Even if it was 10 years ago, the people that I brought to doTERRA 10 years ago, doTERRA has never forgotten it. They will continue to pay me. And this is what creates a cash flow. So a cash flow is unique in that you, cash flows, creating cash flows, I think is, is incumbent upon all of us. We all need to do this. If we have any intention of retiring someday, a cash flow has to be created. And with this particular cash flow, this is what you want to remember is that there's three types of income I'll, I'll talk about. One is effort-based income. That's the bucket money that, that Amy talked about earlier. The other, the residual income is another type of income. And this is uh, another way to say residual income is compounding income. Uh, because Efforts that are put in compound on each other, and over time, you, it creates an incredible cash flow coming back. And then the third type of income you can produce, or cash flow, is passive income. In the case of effort-based, you get paid on when, 
when on the you get paid when you when you put in effort it's all dependent upon you so if you're a doctor a lawyer or a plumber or a whatever like a lawyer has billable hours well what does that mean they have to put in hours to get paid for that um that's all effort-based income residual or compounding income is when you create a system that pays you forever that's what we have here in doTERRA it's when you create a system a network you bring a valuable uh, customer base to the to doTERRA they get you get paid on that system forever and as the retention rate's been discussed at, at length here but but i think that it's worth saying that i've never seen i've never been able to create and i've attempted it many times in my professional career I've never been able to create a cash flow in a residual nature that doTERRA allows. It's like, it's, it isn't like anything I've ever experienced. And then finally, that allows for passive income when you can start to invest money. And that's when your money works for you. So effort-based money, it comes to you when you work. Residual is when a system is working for you. And passive is when your money is working for you. And so um, the value of a residual or passive income is so valuable that I don't think that many people even recognize it. I don't think that, like for example, so many people get excited about a million bucks, but a million bucks can go away. If you were locked in a, let's say that you were locked in a, uh, a room, right? You couldn't get out. Would you rather have a, a drip of water or a bucket of water? What would you rather have? I know all of you are thinking, well, the bucket I'm going to drink from, and eventually it goes away. Right, but the drip keeps coming. So no matter how slow the drip, well, there is an extent if it's not dripping, you know, like a, at all. But it, as long as you have a drip of water, it's worth more than a bucket. And so effort-based incomes, they tend to deal with the idea of accumulation. If you accumulate enough value, if you invest enough, if you do whatever, then, if, you know, and you're trying to accumulate all this stuff. Well, in, in doTERRA, it's not about the accumulation. It's about the cash flow. It's about stepping into the river of transactions and being fed forever. And that's the value that doTERRA brings, unlike anything I've ever seen. I love network marketing. I, didn't, I never thought I'd say these words until now. But <laughs> I love network marketing because of the partnership contract it creates between people who have no money and people who have a lot. It allows any one of us to go into partnerships with billionaires. We get to go into business with some of the most brilliant minds in the world with all of the capital and infrastructure and money that you'll ever need to be successful in a business. And even though you're not bringing any much money to the table in this partnership, it's all about the value you bring. And your job again is to create an educated, loving service network of people who love the oils and love each other and love to serve mankind. That's, that's our job. And as we do it, as we do a good job of it, there's no limit to the amount of money you can make. You could even make more money, and I bet Natalie and Andy make more money than the founders of doTERRA. I bet their monthly paycheck is bigger than what the founders make. I don't know for sure, but I bet it is. And you know what? Those founders are their partners just like they're, they are our partners. And those founders, I bet they don't cry one night over it because they are just happy to pay the Goddards for the value they brought. And the value they brought is astounding. It's almost priceless. And, uh, and so, so and, and it'll never be forgotten. It'll never be forgotten. I've been in partnerships where the, the, what someone brought to the table early on in a partnership was really valuable, but then years later it got forgotten because what have you done for us lately? Guess what, doTERRA, it's never forgotten, ever. This is, this is one of the most integrous business models ever with a fantastic compensation plan with the right way to create cash flows. And I just wanna just end on one more thing and that is doTERRA just announced the founders program, which is fascinating. Um, they're, they're allowing the next 200 people to get a thousand points. I'm not even going to that, but basically 200 people can become founders of the next billion dollars of US volume. Well, those 200 founders will get an $80,000 check as another cash flow. How about that drip? Maybe that's not a drip, it's, it's a pretty steady flow, right? 80 grand. And some people may look at that and go, eh, 80 grand ain't, ain't much. And you're like, yeah, except for the fact that it's residual. And in fact, it's bordering on passive income. 
And the reason why that's so valuable is because I know a lot of people that go to years of college for the right to work, to, to get a job and work for 80 grand a year, let alone get 80 grand a year. Imagine if someone came to you and said, if you work hard for the next year, we'll give you an $80,000 bonus for the rest of your life. Now, some people look at 80 grand, employee mindsets look at that and go, oh, 80 grand's okay. Mm, no, you don't understand. That's worth about $1.6 million in an interest bearing account. That's what that's worth. Or if I wanted to do that in rental properties around here, it would take me about $2 million in owned homes to create the cash flow of just that one bonus that doTERRA is offering. If you, if you treat doTERRA like the, if you, if you treat it with the respect it deserves, you're entering into a partnership with billionaires and they will pay you for the rest of your life if you bring value to the table. And that value is so, so powerful. But anyway, I think I'm going over my time. I just wanted to say, um, I've done a lot of things in my life. Uh, I've owned a lot of different companies and some of them were great successes, but I would not trade any of that. I would never, I would never go back from what doTERRA offers. It's one of the greatest things that's ever happened to the planet. Wow. Amen, brother. <laughs> Did Way you catch it. that? Amazing, amazing value, amazing clarity. Thank you, Seth. Thank you. Yeah, sorry. If the, I know that wasn't exactly what you were looking for, but it's where my heart's been recently. So that, I just, That's <laughs> right where, and I think it's so important for us to see that residual value. Um, I didn't realize it till I had my first baby after doing doTERRA, and I made the same amount of money the month I had my baby and took time off with my family as I made all the other months. Mm -hmm. And it just dawned on me, oh my goodness, like, we got that drip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you, got a, you, you got a fire hydrant there, Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> and what is so powerful, what you pointed out, is that anyone can choose that. Yes. We can all choose that. We all started out in the back office with one person, and mm -hmm. it's what we do and what we decide. And the harvest cannot be prevented. Mm -hmm. It's there. We just choose how big the harvest is. Love it. Thank you so much, Seth.